Okay, um, massive, massive game on Thursday. England face South Africa in the early hours. Um, the uh, Australians, of course, face West Indies, who um, snuck into the semi-finals courtesy of South Africa's extraordinary last group game win against India, which knocked them out. Absolutely extraordinary. I mean, we've had seven or eight of the closest World Cup games all in one tournament. And then that game between South Africa and India with South Africa chasing down the second highest score ever. In fact, it was the highest run chase in uh, a Women's World Cup. Absolutely extraordinary finish um, with uh, India thinking they'd They'd won the game with Mignon Dupria, the South African batter, holding out to long on, only for it to be called a no ball. The third last ball of the match, it was desperate, desperate stuff. Incredibly emotional. But from an England point of view, Harmi, they, they pitch up as defending champions, lose their first three games, and then, in order to retain it, have to win five in a row, like four semifinals and a final. If they did, to, And they... They've, well, they, they're they in the semi-final. They won their last four games in the group stages and they seem to be getting better. They do, and it's great to see. You know, we, we, we talked last week, we said that if they want to do it, it's they've got a chance if they get to the semi-final and breeze in the semi-final as well because they've been playing knockout cricket. They've been playing high-demand, high-pressure cricket. Men could take a little bit of a leaf out of the book of playing, playing under pressure and playing under pressure well, but... They've been fantastic. We've been watching mainly on the highlights. I've seen a few highlights packages sitting against the bottom. There's a there's a lovely beach bar about 100 yards from our hotel and me and Butcher have watched, <laughs> raised the glass to the women every single time that we watch the highlights package and they've gone through. And it's, uh, and it's but it has been a great tournament. It, it talked about the, the games, you know, seven, seven or eight tight games. I thought the, the, the video, the little video that the, um, the ICC put out the other night, which was the West Indies, was, it was West Indies sort of team room while the game was going on in South Africa. That was brilliant. That was fantastic. And it, things like that are going to enhance the women's game. You know, if, if, if the men's game struggling a little bit, it's gone in the opposite direction to the women's game. The power in the men's game is going all towards sort of India and you know the IPL and everything that's the white ball IPL stuff. And India are getting stronger and other teams around the world are wiltering a little bit. In the women's game, the whole game seems to be getting better, which is great to see. Um, and you know that's something that England could benefit from if they can somehow get through the semi-final. And I'm sure they'll play Australia in the final. OK, here's uh, what Captain Heather Knight had to say before the semi-final. Yeah, I think if you'd given me this situation two weeks ago, I would have bitten your hand off. Um, it's been a remarkable turnaround, I think. Credit to everyone in the group, all of the staff. I think it shows the character that we've got in this group to pick ourselves up after a pretty poor start to the competition and, and obviously qualify. But um, yeah, really excited to be in the semi-finals. Uh, repeat, obviously, of 2017, that semi-final against South Africa. So yeah, really in a good place. We've obviously built a little bit of momentum in the last few games. feel like we're peaking at the right time, hopefully, and um, looking forward to getting going on Thursday. They certainly are <laughs> peaking um, because they lost the first three games and uh, they're certainly on... Uh, an upward uh, graph there. I'm, I do feel for the West Indies. Well, they've got nothing to lose against Australia, I suppose. Australia are that much better than everybody else, it seems. They won seven out of seven. So um, West Indies can, uh, they've got a free hit really against uh, Australia. 